The North American Aerospace Defense Command is charged with defending North America's airspace. On the morning of September 11th, 2001, Vice President Dick Cheney was in control of NORAD. This was the first time in U.S. history that a president or vice president was in direct control of the military agency. NORAD was founded in 1957, and generals always had the power to shoot down or intercept hijacked aircraft. But on June 1st, 2001, just three months before 9-11, Dick Cheney ordered Donald Rumsfeld to allow him to take control of NORAD itself and the shoot-down procedure and remove that power from the generals so they could do nothing. Here is a copy of the memorandum from Rumsfeld to the Joint Chiefs telling them they no longer have any authority. An Associated Press article in August of 2002 reported that the CIA just so happened to be running a drill on the morning of 9-11 of flying jets in the World Trade Center and Pentagon. Then senior FAA officials ordered air traffic controllers to shred the tapes from 9-11 in violation of federal law. AP learned of the drills because at a Homeland Security function after 9-11, they bragged about it. Oh, we had foresight. We were running drills that very morning. Then USA Today reported that drills held weeks before 9-11 included targets that were the Pentagon and World Trade Center. The biggest holes in their argument is the fact that they never heard of a plan to fly hijacked jets into landmarks on the East Coast. We're going to take a closer look tonight at another example of where, despite the conventional wisdom, there were people in the United States who actually were preparing to defend against the kind of attacks which occurred here on 9-11. The North American Aerospace Defense Command, NORAD for short, has been defending the skies over the U.S. and Canada for almost 50 years, 46 to be precise. USA Today reports that in the two years before the attacks on September the 11th, NORAD conducted exercises using hijacked airliners as weapons. And one target was the World Trade Center. We knew he hated us. But there was uh, nobody in our government, at least, and I don't think the prior government that could envision flying airplanes in the buildings on such a massive scale. But that turns out not to be true. U.S. military planners did envision and practice those very scenarios. As reported by USA Today, the North American Aerospace Defense Command, NORAD, conducted exercises with fighter jets, simulating hijacked planes flown into the World Trade Center in the two years before the attack. And so then I saw Condoleezza Rice get up on TV and say, we had never thought, we had never heard. Why, that's a ridiculous conspiracy theory to say that. Pentagon planners also envisioned the attack on the Pentagon five months before it happened. The Pentagon had a drill in November of 2000 simulating a hijacked jet being flown to the Pentagon. So between all the drills before 9-11 and the drill in the morning of 9-11, air traffic controllers thought that it was a simulation. Hijacked aircraft headed towards New York. Is this, is this real world or exercise? No, this is not an exercise, man. Okay. 